Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I wanted to show you a fun and easy way to do a journal page that is useful. It can be, um, uh, these items can be removed from the page very easily so that it can shrink the bulk of your junk journal and they're a lot of fun for you to make. So um, I call these the hanging notebooks and um, this is what they look like. Okay, let me back up a little bit so you can see. Uh, here's the prototype. I was just, um, I don't know, I was sitting here with a bunch of dun -da -da, 8x8 paper. Apparently I bought a bunch of 8x8 paper pads and this is what came out of it. You don't actually need 8x8 paper. Any, any paper that you choose to be the cover of your little hanging notebooks will work just fine. Um, but I just happened to grab one of those and that's how this uh, came about. These actually can be moved across so these can be positioned any way uh, you so choose. Um, and I just thought they were kind of fun to put on a page. And they are hanging from uh, seam binding that has been adhered at either end, kind of like a belly band with some Fabrifix, very easy to do. These are all removable. And these inside, I just uh, put some different kinds of paper. I had some scrap paper, so I just put some coffee dyed paper and um, here's an almost torn one. Well, I guess we'll have to take that one out. <laughs> and uh, just some other fun, you know, whatever I had lying around. And these can come right out. And there you have a little collection of notebooks, just a different way to display them in your junk journals. So um, I have done them before where I call them the hangovers where uh, something like this would hang from the top of the page, which is an easy way to do it. But I've never actually done it suspended from the page itself. So uh, it's very easy to place the, um, the back of the um, little notebook. Actually, it's probably better to start from the bottom. Start from the bottom one, hang this one first and then hang the second one wherever you like, at whatever design you like, whatever pattern, totally fine. And uh, they hang pretty easily. They're free floating, easy to remove in and out and uh, translatable as well. They can move around on the page, which is kind of fun. Just something fun, a different idea for a junk journal page. I thought I might like to show you that. So let's make one of these pages and see where it takes us. I did a little bit of uh, stamping on the back with boop -a -doo, worn lipstick, which is a nice pink, one little butterfly stamp, and um, it was on, I believe, a coffee dyed page. But you could do it on a regular copy paper page or any um, scrapbook paper page you have, anything like that in a journal. It's an easy way to decorate a page that's already present in your journal. So let's make one of these. Okay, well, let's pick a different page. All right, let's find one here. There's a nice page. How about this guy in the back? I guess I can take off all these. These are from another video. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, and let's use this to keep that open. All right, so let's say we're going to work on this page. Well, let's make our little notebooks. And these were very easy to make and they can be assembled in many different ways. Um, I'm just going to grab one of these eight by eights because that's what I have right in front of me. And I do need to use up some of this. So let's see what we have here. We have some pretty, pretty papers in here. They could be the same, different, doesn't matter. Totally up to you. Um, here we go. This is very colorful. How about we use this? Okay, let's use that. Um, and you and you could even use book page and things like that. So don't feel like you have to use these. I just you know got to use these up at some point. So here we go. I'm just gonna cut. Does does this come off automatically? I don't think so. No, it's gonna make me do the manual labor. Here I go, manual laboring. But um, yeah, I thought this was actually fun for the recipient, and it's also fun for the creator to make. And it's. Um, Highly interactive, but um, not not very hard to do. Anybody can do this. So basically, what I did was um, I took some paper and I what, did I just fold it right in half. Pretty much, pretty much looks like that's what I did. Okay, so I'll just go to do that again. Here I go, folding it in half. There we go. All right, I'm going to use my bone folder. Just get a nice little crease. And now all we need to do, I, I can probably easily get four here um, uh, out of one. Is that upside down? Can't, I can't read that if there's actually a design there now. Okay, I guess that's right side up. Okay, yeah, there are words there. Okay, magic. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in four, but before I do that, I'm going to stuff it with paper, so I only need to cut once. So I'm going to grab some scraps that I have from junk journal making, and I'll be right back. 
Well, gosh, I didn't have to go far. I've got all sorts of scraps around here. Now, you can use you can use plain white paper. You can use um, book pages. You can use whatever you have available, or you can use copy dyed papers or anything that you want. But they're going to be the pages inside your little notebooks. So the easiest thing to do is by magic. These are uh, this is eight and a half by eleven. So this is just a little bit wider than the eight. So that's fine. That's going to give me plenty. So I should only need to do this once. So let me just layer a bunch of these up. Um, now let's just see what I have here. One, and I guess four sheets is good. Um, nice, nice round number, four sheets. Sure. Okay. And I'm not too worried even if they're torn a little bit. I think that la uh, lends to the mystique of it all, but you can go for uh, perfect, perfect papers as well. That's fine. So I am going to get these organized and then I'm going to fold these in half. Okay. And I'm going to also bone folder these just to make it easier. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whole clump. I'm going to insert it in here. So when I do my cuts, hopefully this won't be too thick, um, that I'll only have to cut once. And I could do it on the guillotine or I could do it over here. Let me do it over here with you guys. Yeah. Okay. Let me just cut that off. I'm going to use my metal ruler and I'm going to use my craft knife and I'm going to cut. Sometimes when you have a lot of thickness, it's easier to do with a craft knife and a mat. Um, it depends how thick you're going to go. And here you could actually, I don't know how long I want these. Let's see, how long did these go? Were they the whole length? They were the whole length. Well, let's just leave them at that. Now, I think the other ones I actually tore off. So let me tear these because I think that might give a kind of a cool end to them. You can also cut these, but um, if you like the torn look, adventure down the path of torn look. It's a lot of fun and it's uh, pretty easy to do. Okay, so we have that and um, you probably just want to take your ruler at one point and just give it like a little whack down the end to make sure everybody's really down where they should be because you don't want to miss it. Now, uh, we can go ahead and cut these. So I'm just going to cut them right here. What the heck? It'll take me two seconds. Okay, here we go. And let's cut them in half, I guess, first. Where's half? I don't know. Here. Uh, this is the eyeball technique. Very fancy. Yeah, only done in certain remote corners of the world. Probably everywhere. Um, pretty darn close. And I'm, I'm not so worried that these are all exactly the same width. Uh, I think maybe being a little bit off might be more intriguing to the eye. So I'm, I'm going with that. There we go. You can use scissors to cut these. They're not that thick, so they're not hard to work with, which is nice. Giving the hands a rest. The hands are a resting. Okay, here we go. And then we have four little notebooks. Now all we have to do is put them together. And um, there's many ways that you can put your little... Oh, you guys are so far away. Come down here. Um, you guys can put them together so many different ways. Um, I, with my original ones... Where are you? Where are you? Whoop, whoop. Where'd you go? Whoop. Oop, I just had you. Oh, here. I sewed them. I just took um, a straight stitch and sewed right across, and that's what I got. Uh, you could also staple. So let me, let me demonstrate stapling in case you want to staple. Uh, maybe you don't have a sewing machine. Okay. Where is my stapler? Right where I left it? Yes. Okay. This is always... Uh, these are so small, you can do it with a regular staple, I think. So just come on in. No, it just didn't quite make it. Look at that. Okay, so then what do we do? We do this. Okay, we grab something. And I have my famous old something here. And this is what I use. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hang on, I got to get it. <laughs> Hold on. I always use this weird piece of hard, hard to compress uh, packing that I got in a... Um, in a, um, it was pack like used as packing stuff for something. And uh, what I, I do is I open this up. Now I, I can kind of see where I'm going here, where the spine is, which is right here. Okay. And I'm going to open up my stapler. I'm going to staple right on the spine. Okay, once. Now that's going to go all the way through. I'm going to have my little feet sticking out there. Whoop, I lost a foot. Oh Lord, there it's back, it's back out. Now you can either take your thumbs because it's very easy to do like that, or you could use the tip of a ruler to push these down. But basically you have just created your notebook. 
and that's going to stay. So there's a nice little alternative. You could also do a little um, stitch through, like a little uh, double stitch or like a, or a mini three-hole pamphlet stitch if you really wanted to. But um, let me just go ahead and do these. They're pretty quick and easy. You want to see that again. Just make sure you have your middle and you've made your cute little um, booklets and you could do these, uh, you could decorate these inside, you could put rubber stamps on them, all sorts of fun little things. You could put one or two staples, I think one is plenty, this is such a little tiny notebook, nobody's gonna, you know, put this through the mill. Um, but this is kind of fun and you just sort of arrange them back up. And it's probably a good idea to bone folder them again just to give them that nice crease. And uh, here's number three. So I hope you guys are having fun today. I got sunshine here. He's having a nice little snooze beside me on his little puppy mat. All is quiet in the house. Everything is well. Hope you guys are doing well. All right, that's number three. I don't even think we can fit more than three, so I'll just stop at three. All right, there we go. If you make smaller or shorter ones, you could probably put more as well. And you could probably put as many rows of seam binding or string or whatever you like. I did use seam binding in the last one. Let me show you that one again. Where It's in this book, Pam. I've got to find it. I don't know where I put it. Okay, it's right here. Okay, so here's an example of the seam binding. And all I did was put a dot of uh, Fabrifix glue and either end and, and glued the seam binding so it was tight okay um, and then let's go over here and hold this back but this time I thought let me try hang on let me try some twine and see how that works we'll do a little experiment out together here let me, let me uh, put a little more light on okay all right here we go all right there we go all right so here is our page and let's see we might get three out of this one and it's all the same thickness and this is a thinner twine so that's probably good hmm it's getting some ideas here i wonder if i can curl the end of this and then have that be like a little tab at one end that would be kind of cute let's see if that'll work probably not but we'll try anyway all right here we go here's a nice dollop Whoop, and a nice dollop you really don't want to a string in between because you want to be able to get behind so we might just remove that that didn't happen and if it, it, it's got stuck then we can roll it off like a good crafter does with her super clean fingers right ha 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 <laughs> no laughing no laughing okay here we go put one down i probably have to hold that now i want this guy a little bit longer enough to do a roll now i need an extra pair of hands here to do this sunny Sunny, are you helping? No, Mom. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> like a good kid, right? Yeah. No, I'm out of here. <laughs> I got friends. I'm gonna go hang out. Okay, that one's that one's glued down. So let's just try and roll this one up, and we'll make like a little a little end to it. Oh, we're getting so fancy in our old age. All right, there we go. Here we go down. We're going down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Is it tight enough? Do it a little tighter, Pam. If you need to do it tighter, okay. I'm talking to myself now. Okay, there. Nice and tight. I mean, we'll just give that a second to grab. Da da da, da 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 da. There. I think that's pretty good. Huh? All right, let's let's try that again. That turned out better than I thought. Oh, miracle of miracles. Something's working. Yay. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just don't know till you try. And I'll try three again. Let's see. That seemed to be the lucky number here. All right, let's put another dollop. Um, now the, oh, I got that string again. Okay, that's all right, okay. I'm gonna go and remove that middle string. And I give myself more work sometimes than I need to. There we go, all right. Now, trying in the, in the realm of finger creation. And if you don't wanna do this uh, coiling part, you could just actually stick something on the very end of each string if you wanted it to be there for the look, which is kind of cool, I think. All right, here we go. We're going. We're in, we're in here. There we go. Okay. Here. Oh, that's much longer than we need. Okay, here we go. Maybe there. Okay. Still here. Still here. Are you good? Don't let go. Don't be letting go. Oh, now I pulled it out. All right. I'll use the bone folder. Tuck it in. I got the center piece back in there. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, honey. Everybody says hi to you. 
<laughs> he says hi back. <laughs> I think y'all just got a big kiss too. <laughs> How about that? All right, here we go. All right. All right, here we go. There. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I actually like this. Faux um, lines. All right. It grabs pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast, right? All right, one more. Do we have enough? I think so. All right, coming down the big, big home stretch route. Oh, you don't want to go too close to the bottom because if your, if your things are long, then they're going to hang below your thing. So you might have to, your, your notebooks are long, they're going to hang below your thing. But you don't, even if they are, if you didn't put it at the right spot, you don't have to pull the notebook all the way down. Something I kind of learned as I went here. So I'm going to put it like as if I didn't put it in the right place so we can all see how that works. Okay, because that's probably what I did on the other one. Here we go. All right, Snuffle Bumpkins, are you are you're awake? You are. Oh, you you heard you heard Papa talking, didn't you? That's what it was. Yeah, he was hanging out with Papa while Papa was working upstairs earlier. Yeah, while Mama was making some fundals, weren't ya? Weren't ya? Yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, got that one. It sticks pretty fast. It really does. Okay, and maybe just a little longer than we need. And then we start coiling back upon self. And here we go. Coil, coil. I bet you could do a whole page just with uh, twine. Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah, we should play with twine more. Yeah, I think we need to twine up. We need to like work on our twine ability. Yeah, I think twine has a lot of possibilities in it. It's kind of a, a cool substance. Nope, you're not, not done yet. Okay, get back over there. Um, it's got, got a kind of a... a a jute kind of feel. I guess it is sort of a jute, isn't it? Um, I guess it's all jute twine or is all twine jute? I think all jute, no, all jute maybe twine. I don't know. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. Anybody feel free to jump in on that one. Okay, so here we have our three either sewn or stapled um, notebooks. And you could do different things to the bottoms. You could, you could round them. Maybe we'll round these. How about that? Okay, we get the rounder. Okay, now since I have a, a thick, whoa, okay, almost emptied out my whole drawer there. Okay, since we have a relatively thick thing we're working with, the uh, Crocodile Corner Chomper works well for this because it can handle thick things. So there, easily. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Like it's butter. That's right. It doesn't require a lot of muscle strength in the hand, but you're like the Hulk using this thing because you just have all this extra strength somehow using this thing. Okay, and you could ink these if you want, but I think these have enough contrast with the color of what we're working with. I don't think we need it. Eh, I don't think we need it, no. And I have one extra I could play with in another place somewhere else and maybe in another journal. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see how these go. All right, we have... Whoop. Oh, let's load from the bottom first. I just think it's a good idea. Okay, so I'm not going all the way down because it doesn't go all the way down. Okay, then I'm gonna do this one. And I, I suggest only putting the back piece in because it'll, I think, lay more easily. It's easier to maneuver on your own. Yeah, if you're doing things, you know, you have stuff to do there. And there we go, there we go. So I just arrange them as you would like to see them. They may translate around a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay, because it's an interactive thing. And then what I did was I took that butterfly stamp. Where did it go? Okay, that's gone. Gone. Yeah, totally gone. Totally gone. Oh, there it is. But I already did a butterfly stamp. So let me let me get something else. Hold on. I found this crazy little dragon stamp. Came in a kit of some sort. And um, this has kind of got magic and things like that in it. So I thought that might be kind of fun to play with. And maybe what color do we want? Do we want to work with black or blue might be pretty. Yeah, this is Broken China. All right, so let's let's try this. There, put you there. I haven't used this stamp much, so I don't know how well it stamps. We're, we're going to find out. We're going to find out together. Let's just give this a go. All right, here's a, let's do it on an angle. Oh, something cracked underneath. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't want to know. Um, not the greatest stamp. I probably need to have something hard under it. So sometimes if you're a uh, decorator that decorates as they go through the journal, um, you may need to have a, a stiffer backboard. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to hit the right same spot. We'll, we'll try. 
<sighs> oh yeah, that looks like nothing. Okay, so we'll try it over here <laughs> and see how far we get. Uh, we'll try a few more, and if they don't work, we'll just, we'll, you know what we'll do, we'll cover it up. Oh, I think it's the stamp that's cracking. Yeah. I do. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's, well, that's an old stamp, isn't it? That means an old, this thing's, yeah, okay, you're going to the garbage. Yeah, that's all, we've got enough of you. All right, boop, out you go. Let me go get a different one. Okay, I've come back with some solid flowers, and since I've sort of made a Goomba mess here, I'm going to attempt to fix it. Okay, let me just take these out. Maybe we'll just do the background first. Boy, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? All right, so let's try this again. Let's try with the blue. Okay, that feels, well, that feels good. All right, let's just see if we can cover this up somehow. If not, we'll, we'll just do something else. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's not so bad. I mean, it's something, right? Yeah, kind of looks like the extra pieces are um, the flowers, uh, stems and stuff branches little leaves and things like that there we go that's much better okay now we're talking all right yeah now this uh, is a good rubber stamp um it's pliable still so it's probably a good idea every once in a while check your stamps make sure they're still good whoa okay we have a few extra flowers we weren't planning on but that happens <laughs> that happens all right there we go i'll just put some everywhere why not right i'll just yeah stamp okay there we go all right, I think I have enough now. And somebody could actually come along and write on this page if they wanted to. They could write different uh, things to themselves. Mm -hmm. And here we go. We'll just reinsert our little things. We'll start from the bottom, work our way to the top. This nice woman here. Um, so I'm going to call this the Hanging Notebooks, just to give it a name. Everybody deserves a name, right? Okay, so we we'll do the middle one next, which is you, yes. And there you go, just an interesting concept, just something fun to play with, and very easy, anybody can do this. Ta-da! There we go. Your note, oh, your notebook, hanging notebook page. There you go, folks, I hope you had fun. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Let me see if I can get a little snuffle face. I don't want to get up and sit. No, it's all right. We've got to say hi to the people. Oh, it's the people. Yeah, we'll say hi to everybody. Are those the paper lovers? Yes, they're the paper lovers, son. Well, we got to get up and say hello. All right, here I come. All right. Hi, everybody. Yep, I am awake. You know, really, I am. Yep. I'm so happy to see you all. And have an awesome day. I'm going to fall asleep now. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> okay. I'll just hold them here. Um, yeah, so if you had fun, please like, subscribe, and share. And click the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. Um, if you uh, are looking for any tools or supplies, I have... Um, uh, most of these things are listed either down below the video or you can always click over into my Amazon shop if you're looking for specifics and maybe I forgot to list something. Um, I have an Etsy shop where I put my vintage digital kits. I believe there's going to be 105 now and um, to pick from. And there's also ephemera collections if you're looking for actual collections of old world papers mixed with some funky, cool, fun junk journal papers to use in your junk journal creations. I have some loaded there for you. And... Um, uh, come on by and see if you can find one or catch one and my videos come out uh, Mondays Wednesdays Fridays and Saturdays 7 a.m. Eastern time I have a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image a checklist of supplies a note from the bookmaker junk journal tips and updates from me a podcast come out Tuesdays and Thursdays um, you can find me on Instagram Pinterest Etsy Twitter LinkedIn and Facebook and come and join my Facebook group we're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and uh, I love to see what you guys make from these videos too and you're welcome just to hang out or explore or uh, just lurk whatever you'd like to do thanks everybody I'm a little more awake now I'd like to say uh, apologize for my sleepiness earlier and I'm apparently going back to sleep now thank you very much bye <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, so take care everybody hope you're having fun out there and make some hanging notebooks for gosh sakes they're a lot of fun take care bye bye